Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to be going over some hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and this is going to be the 8 inch. Now, a lot of these tips will work with the 10 inch as well, so if you have that one, feel free to give them a try. And let's go ahead and let's jump right in. Now, the first uh, little hidden feature um, it is something very simple, but I guarantee you a lot of people do not know about this, and to be honest, I didn't even notice it until I saw it in the menu. It's something that I normally don't see on Samsung tablets, so I was pretty surprised. Um, and here it is. If your screen is turned off, um, you, do, you do not have to reach around and grab that power button to enable the screen or turn it on. All you've got to do is just tap the screen twice and it'll automatically wake up. And I can just then swipe and get right into my screen. So this is a really cool new feature. Uh, again, normally Samsung tablets don't have this. This is normally like an LG feature, but I'm very glad that they brought it to their tablets now. So if the tablet's asleep on the table, just tap it twice and the screen will automatically wake up and make it easier for you to access the screen. All right, our next hidden feature is gonna be um, how to use split screen, how to run two apps at one time. So I'm gonna run um, YouTube, because I love YouTube. Let's go ahead and open it and, uh, there we go. Let's pause that. Okay, so what you wanna do is open both apps first and then I'll show you uh, how to time together on the same screen. So we opened YouTube, we closed it. Now I'm gonna open Google Chrome here and just open up a blank screen here. And now we're gonna hit this little button right here, the recent apps button. I'm gonna to go to the, the app I want to be on the left side first and tap on the little the two dots right here, the two bars. Just gonna move that one there and I'll select my second app. And now I do have YouTube open on the left and Google Chrome on the right side. I'm gonna turn the volume down just so it's not loud. And I'm gonna basically play a video and demonstrate that we can continue to just surf the web on the right side. So, I can just go to, let's see. Let's say I wanna play this video right here. Um, I can also play it in full screen there. And then on here, I can do a search and use Google Chrome on the right side. And just that easy, I can do two things at one time. You can also turn it this way and have it rotate. It will take a second. But um, again, this is one of my favorite things about this tablet is being able to have two apps going at the same time. And it's, a, um, it's not too big. It fits nice in your hand. And things like this are just really easy. You could have YouTube going, you could have um, Netflix up here or Hulu. I'm, I'm not sure of both, but one of those you can, one of those does support split screen where you can have it running at the top and you can be doing something else at the bottom right here. So really cool little feature. If we tap in the center here, we can rotate it as well. And now I can have Chrome at the top and my video at the bottom. And when you're done, just go ahead and go to the middle and just drag it down and it will open up the top screen bigger. And there we go. So that's just a cool way to have two apps running at the same time. Again, I love multitasking. I love having two things going. So just a great feature to be able to do that. All right, guys, our next uh, hidden feature is gonna be uh, something else with YouTube videos. So maybe you don't want the YouTube video to be so big at the top. Um, there's another little trick you can do to have something running and still have a YouTube video playing. So we're gonna go to YouTube and this video is still playing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And now I'm gonna swipe up to get the menu buttons here open and I'm gonna hit the home button. And by doing that, it does enable what's called pop out video. Now I can have this video continue to play and I can continue to use the tablet to do other things. So maybe I wanna go on the Play Store and look up an app Maybe I'm, I'm following a YouTube tutorial and I want to continue to follow it so I can have it going here, but I can look up the app right here. Or what else? Maybe I want to 
go to my gallery, look through some of my pictures, I can do that as well. You can do anything, you can continue to do all your normal tablet operations while your video is playing in this little pop-up window and you can move it to any one of the four corners of the tablet. So just a really um, cool way to use YouTube. Again, a lot of people buy tablets to watch video, um, but they wanna do other stuff too. So this allows you to do that. And when you're done, you tap it and you can either open it up as a large video right here, or I can uh, hit the upper right corner here and just close it out all together. So there we go. That is YouTube pop-out video. Now our next little hidden feature is gonna be how to basically hide apps. I'm gonna show you um, one way to hide apps and how to hide some other things as well. So we are going to swipe up, go to our app drawer in the upper right corner. Actually, no, not there. We're gonna uh, hold down the home screen, go to home screen settings, and then tap on hide apps. At this point, it will allow you to go through and select any app that you want to be hidden. So maybe you say, oh, I don't want any games on the screen. So we'll tap our Monopoly game, our roulette game, our Sudoku, our word search, and maybe YouTube. Yes, yeah, do that. Upper right corner, click on apply. And now those apps are hidden. And so um, those apps are now removed from the home screen. So YouTube was in this folder, it's gone now. And if you swipe up, you also don't see those apps in the app drawer section either. So really easy way to hide your apps. And when you want to unhide them, we can hold down the screen here, go to home screen settings, go to hide apps. And then we're gonna go through and just uncheck these apps. And then they will reappear again on our home screen. Oh. So they will reappear again in the app section. So this is a great way to hide apps for kids. Maybe you only want them playing certain things. You can easily just go in, hide the apps you don't want them to play, and then give them the tablet and let them go at it. So. Another hidden feature, this isn't really a hidden feature, it's more of a, just a tips and tricks sort of thing, but I wanted to just include it in the video. So you do have the ability to assign different users on the tablet as well. So by swiping all the way down, actually took them back, so. We're gonna go to our home screen, our lock screen here. Tap on the icon in the corner here. And my current account is A1 Team. You can do a guest account or you can add a user. And by doing that, it will allow you to um, keep your items uh, separate from anyone else using the tablet. Maybe you wanna let a friend use it to look up something or uh, again, one of your kids. You can um, go ahead and wake it up, tap on the icon and tap add guest. And then let's see you. Tap add guest, and it will switch to guest mode, and it will basically, um, it'll hide all of your personal things that are on the tablet, and it will take them to uh, a separate section of the tablet. So now if I, if I wake it up here, you'll notice that things are gonna look different. If I go to, let's see. If I were to go to Gmail, you won't find any of my emails here because my emails are in my user account. So all my emails are not gonna be accessible. None of my pictures are gonna be accessible as well. Um, it is a blank slate. Now someone can sign in in this profile and then they can use their information but they won't have access to your information. It's just a really cool way to basically keep your personal things separate from everyone else. And what I also encourage you to do is to set a passcode on the tablet so they can't just simply switch back to your profile, which is what I'm gonna show you next. If we just tap on this icon here and I go back to my personal profile, it would require them to basically use a password or use your passcode in order to sign in. So that's an easy way for you to protect your information. 
and still allow people to use the tablet if they need to. So there is that guys. This has been the hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. We wanna hear from you in the comments section down below. Um, let us know what you learned from the video, if you learned anything new, um, and any features that you are excited to use now that you've seen them in our video. Also, if you can think of any other videos you'd like us to make on this tablet, we'd love to make them for you. Leave it in the comment section down below, and if we can get to it, we will get to it. Again, like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again and have a good one.